TV Paint and Moho are well-known animation programs for the professional environment they provide. This creates a sense of competition, which we will discuss in this video. Work environment. TV Paint, as the name suggests, is a bitmap-based software for 2D painting and digital animation that is capable of creating high-quality scenes. It is available in both Windows and Mac, and there are also special versions for Linux and Android. TV Paint offers an environment for frame-by-frame -frame animation by providing three types of layers to organize animation, color and texture, and backgrounds separately. You can manage your layers into group, merge, and customize them while working. It also offers a storyboarding area with its special tools, advanced onion skinning options, audio sync, and frame and view control. As for drawing tools, TV Paint can even compete with illustration programs for having a vast array of customizable and realistic brushes to sketch, line, color, shade, and blend, including airbrush, pen brush, mechanical brush, oil brush, wet brush, pencil, war brush, smearing and shifting brush, text brush, and you can customize your brushes with different modes for each. In addition to different types of color picking, including an RGB HSL slider, a digital mixer, and the usual color picker and bin, without forgetting shapes, flood fill, gradient, warp, crop, and transformation tools. It doesn't limit itself to just that, but it also contains additional features to provide a high quality workspace, including smart colorization, 2D camera control, image libraries, bitmap rigging, a light table, FX set, support for different media formats, and many, many more. This software is the perfect choice to experience making traditional hand-drawn animations in a digital way. And for an even bigger guarantee, these features makes TV Paint a world-class application that is taught in the best schools and used by major animation studios in making high-level works like Mechanical Arms Anime, the animated film Ernest and Celestine, and the final season of the nostalgic series Samurai Jack. Moho Animation, formerly known as Anime Studio, is something that you will never guess the use of. No, it's definitely not another 2D animation software. Not in this video, what? Jokes aside, this program focuses in an impressive way on skeletal animation by providing a very advanced and helpful rigging set to make animation fun and easy. Starting from a boning system with its simple tools to add, reset, select, transform, reparent, and manipulate bones, then there are advanced features to make more complicated and professional animations in a shorter time with smaller effort and more accuracy, including smart and Vitruvian bones, delayed constraints, binding options, liquid shapes, auto lips sync, motion blur, masking, shadows, interpolation settings, automatic bone and layer audio wiggle, bone dynamics, force to set gravity and wind, 3D and 2D camera control, smart line boil, sketchy effects, animated strokes, and particle effects like explosions, smokes, rain, sparkles, snow, and energy clouds. There was no way I could have done that with a single breath. <laughs> Moho also provides a large set of design features based on vector illustrations, including tools to add, select, transform, erase perspective, shear and bend points, curvature, freehand, magnet, blob brush, noise remove and hide edges, create and delete shapes, curved profile, stroke exposure, line width and ready shapes, lines and effect generators. And to add a cherry on top, Moho also supports 3D physics, different formats including PSD files, audio syncing and coding scripts, in addition to layer management and interface customization. All this is available in Windows and Mac. And let us not forget that Moho could also make fame among independent artists and small studios, leading to play a significant role in the creation of notable works like the TV series Puffin Rock and the animated adaptation of the famous book series Pete the Cat. Learning curve. Learning to use the two programs is not much of a headache if you have at least a basic knowledge in animation. So there is not a lot to talk about in this section except for interface complexity due to the huge number of features and tools that serve the professional industry. Starting with Moho, it might take time to understand how to deal with the multiple features at once or the principles of the rigging system in general. While TV Paint can cause adapting difficulties due to the complications of some simple operations like motion tweening and generating keyframes. These tiny problems are solved or reduced already thanks to the presence of active community forums and full courses and tutorials.
Moho made a further step by offering a content library of ready-to-use characters, props, scenes, audio, and video clips, in addition to a character wizard, in order to learn firsthand how a professional animator builds their projects. Pros and Cons you may have noticed that we mentioned the two programs go in two different ways, and if you conclude that their drawbacks are opposites to each other, uh, you are right, my dear clever viewer. TV Paint doesn't give much care to skeletal animation features since it's not the main interest, while the same goes for Moho with frame-by-frame -frame animation. But it's not a big deal if you know your preferences and needs before choosing a certain software. Other than that, there isn't much, if not any, negatives to mention. System requirements and costs are acceptable to a certain level. Uh, talking about costs, let us jump into the pricing section. Before we get into prices proper, keep in mind that they are eligible to change depending on when you're watching this video. So both applications allow a one-time purchase only and discounts for students, teachers, schools, and studios with Moho having cheaper offers. They also provide three versions, standard, professional, and for the free-to-play artists, a demo. This latter version gives access to all professional features except exporting projects with a time limit difference which is 30 days for Moho and unlimited time for TV Paint. Final verdict! Finally, it's time for the answer that determines the winner. Well, it's hard to pick a side after realizing that fusing these two programs will actually lead to great and balanced results, as the famous studio Cartoon Saloon uh, did to create the Oscar-nominated film such as Breadwinner, Wolfwalkers, and Song of the Sea. So, a tie game? Is the best thing to call this comparison from a neutral perspective. So which software would you choose? It really depends on your taste. If you like the vibes of traditional work, atmosphere, and old school animation, and also prefer to focus on the field of frame-by-frame -frame animation, then TV Paint can be a good choice. On the other hand, if you are appealed to the new animation technologies and uh, feel more comfortable to specialize yourself in skeletal animations, then Moho can be your safe home. Of course, that does not exclude the choice of experiencing both if you want a richer and more comprehensive journey in developing your animation skills, because they both prove their great worth and value when they are in the right creative hands. Well, we reached the end of today's journey. And yet, we could not really pick a winner, so the mic is passed over to you. Which side do you choose? And do you have any experience with the two programs to share? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, honor us with a like and a hit on that subscribe button for more content in order to entertain and help our dear artists. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Take care!